Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create Slurpy Swamp from Fortnite in Chapter 2. Welcome to this gigantic tutorial. We will create Slurpy Swamp. First of all, thanks a lot for all the nice messages which I received for me to get better very soon. Thanks a lot. I'm feeling better. I don't think I have any fever anymore. Just this. <coughs> you get that? This annoying cough. <coughs> okay, let's get started. This is the blueprint for today's video. I just tried to zoom out as much as possible while watching a replay in Fortnite in chapter 2 and this is the perspective which you get. All I had to do was just print it out and get started. I cut out all the islands and this is the very first layer. This is just some brown, the chocolate one. And we try to make a very smooth layer because this is the base layer, this is ochre and we will start forming or defining all the shapes of the islands which we have in the swamp. And look at that, they look so beautiful. All these swamps. Do you like this location? I got many many requests that I should create this location. I think maybe by far the most requests compared to other Fortnite locations. In the end of this video I will also ask you which location I should create next and this doesn't only cover Fortnite. I'm open for any other game as well. As you have seen I tried to get in some more of a variety as well. And now let's focus on the creation. You have seen that we are working on all the islands we have in the swamp itself. And I create these islands by using different layers. We have the ochre. I'm then using uh, a mixture of ochre and this brown. Here you can see me doing all the outlines. It looks already so nice, so realistic when you compare it to the gameplay. And I'm pretty sure that you are more familiar with this location than I am. I've landed like three times on this location because I haven't played that much Fortnite lately. Sorry. <laughs> and this is the ocean. This is the connection part. We need some blue. This is turquoise, dark blue and the aqua, the bright blue. And I try to mix a really, really nice color for the water. So let's see if this works. Yeah, look at that. We have the base layer. Maybe we should throw in some different colors so we don't mix it too strong because, well, look at the, at the blueprint from the map. From my replay you have all these dark blue patterns inside the water and this is the sand from the beach oh it looks so so vacation like mm. hot beach in the winter yeah that would be a great place to be i know that some of you are probably watching from the hot areas on this earth Right now it's quite cold outside, it's probably going to snow within the next days. Which is okay, because Christmas is coming up, don't get me wrong. But now, with this cold and uh, the, the less light outside, the sun is going down so early. Yes, I would want to change places right now. 
what we have to face reality. And this is what we are doing in this tutorial as well. These are all the polluted spaces within the swamp I just created. And then we have some further spots for tiny tiny... Well, no, these are not really lakes, more like swamp spots as well, I guess. And we need some grey clay because there are a lot of stones laying around. And well, let's face it, I can't create all the tiny tiny stones, each and every stone in this set. I just mixed a slightly brighter green by just throwing in some yellow, you have seen that. And this is another outline for our islands. Mm, let's place these to see if they are all green, yes they are. And then we can search, sorry. <coughs> Covering all these um, islands with a thick layer of green because we need a lot of clay to, to shapen all the landscape. And this is, I'd say, this is the most difficult part in this tutorial. To get all the different heights and all the different paths right. Because it is a 3D model after all. And some of the connection parts, like the road or the bridge, for example, they only work if you pay extra attention to all the landscape heights and details. So I really want to make sure that it, in the end, that it turns out fine and that it makes sense. Now we are placing some more stones. I'm doing this all the time. Whenever I saw a stone on the blueprint, I had also my laptop on the left side, just spending hours and hours in the replay. I'm so sorry I was not able to answer your messages in Fortnite. It was just um, yeah, too time consuming to focus on the creation itself. This is the part where the bridge will go over, over the river and the road leads down this beautiful, beautiful hill we are creating right now. Now let's focus on the lower part of the map in the right corner and this will be the connection part for another bridge because we have three, three bridges in total on this location and on this area which I choose from Sloppy, Sloppy Swamp and then we have this opening inside the mountain where also the slurp, slurpy juice is dropping out into the swamp and we have some more tiny swamps as well and later after oven hardening, well not really after oven hardening but just before I will use a lot of liquid clay to create all these water and swamp effects in the map and I am really curious how it will turn out. This is the first building if you can call this a building. This is just the entrance <clears throat> or the exit depending on where you're going for the slurpy pollution which is floating out and we're cutting it open. It should look like just the one in reality. <clears throat> well, I haven't seen something like that in reality, but in our Fortnite reality place. And now let's focus on the factory, the factory itself. I try to cut it out as well to separate it from the landscape that we get all the roads and all the buildings right. This is the very technique I used on nearly every Fortnite map I have created. The very first one, Tilted Towers, of course, but also like Neo Tilted. This is the very first base layer. It's bright gray, del Delphin gray, it's called Delphin gray. Then I threw in just a little bit of black and we can place all these blueprints on the different layers of clay and cut it out. This is the dark surface of the city. Yeah, let's call it city. It's the roads. And now we can start finding all the shapes and all the contours of the streets. These are all the sidewalks. And this was a bit difficult to create and find all the right spots. You can see that I used the blueprint many, many times. And this is 
probably 30 times the speed I was creating this, so you can guess this is a lot of work. So hang in there if you want to create something like that. Um, I hope you don't get frustrated. Oh yeah, these are really, really great. I have created the pedestrian crosswalks in the past by just painting them on the often hardened clay, but I thought it would be nice to create all these tiny details with clay. These are the two similar buildings on the left side. I'll try to get in some more details and also creating the roof, which is basically just a very thin layer of silver clay. So let's try to build these two identically. Yeah. And now we are focusing on the windows. Yeah, it should look like that. And we can place them into our tiny, tiny, cute neighborhood. Well, it's not a cute neighborhood. <laughs> and these are the trucks. There is one lying on the side. And we have some boxes laying around. It was just impossible to get all, all the different things laying around. Hopefully, um, well, you can judge. I got all the important and recognizable things right. For example, the trunk which is hitting the wall uh, we are creating right now. Oh, look at that. That looks so nice. <laughs> and it's so no noticeable. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. So, this is some stairs going down. I also tried to create these as well. This and also later when we are focusing on the main factory buildings, we have this um, connection way in the air. I don't know what it's called in English. Um, <laughs> maybe you can let me know in the comments. So the connection way, the connection path from this building to the left to the next one. And this is the tower where we will attach all the chimneys later. We have three of these. Uh, maybe we can uh, already create the chimney by just rolling out um, a very, very thin warm of clay to make sure that we don't forget that. This is the window, the curved one on the back side. And we have some more outlines on the roof. And also this characteristic slurp logo. Is it a logo? Yeah, I think so. So this is the chimney, all the chimneys. And we have many, many pipes um, and tubes in this set. And I try to get them. Um, I, I try to get them in as well. So this will be the one which is going down to the river or to the swamp. Here we go for the last building. Some more pipes, some more windows. This is the way, and I have no idea how to call it. Let's call it just airway. <laughs> and some more tubes as well. And this is another truck. Look at that. It's just insane how tiny the scale is. I know that I probably miss a lot of um, vehicles, different cars and further trucks, especially in the, in the landscape around. But for this, for the buildings, I try to create all the tiny details as accurate as possible. For example, these two green bushes right at the entrance. Oh, I could have done so much more. I could have spent a whole life on this set. <laughs> and at least for the buildings, we're ready to go into the oven. Nobody wanted to sponsor today's video, so I decided to sponsor today's video with, well, this is our starter set, but it's sold out. But because everyone is celebrating Black Friday, we thought it would be nice to introduce you to the Clay Wizard, where you can choose all the colors which are on the market, and you can just click on them, either 6, 12 or 18 colors. You get all of them, and you can decide. This is even the night glowing one. Yes, this is our code, 11% of Black Clay 2019, you get 11% off clayclaim.com. Check it out. I am pretty sure that you will 
get all of your your shipments and all your orders till Christmas so don't worry about that I know that there that, that it says 30 days delivery time but well we just put it in to take away all the pressure from our shoulders but in the background we're working like crazy just right now um, I hired another person to just help us at the studio working for the online store only welcome to the team Ludi so I'm pretty sure that you will get it before Christmas and I'm really sorry this clay wizard is quite buggy because of all the huge images we uploaded so it just takes some time to open the clay wizard hang in there Clayclaim.com, 11% off with the code BLACKCLAY2019. And now let's end this commercial. Although it was quite nice, I think it was quite nice. Let's focus on the creation. This is the bridge, the very first one, actually. No, wait, this is the second one we are creating. Uh, this edit is so fast. This is the road which is leading to the island right in the middle and these are all the roads which are connected to the different map pieces. And maybe we should remove this clay just right there and there and there and even there. And then we can work on some further buildings because we have some further buildings on this map, not only in the right in the center of the city, the factory city, we have this building on the bridge, for example. This is like the connection building to let the people in and to decide who may enter. <laughs> this is a bridge by using a paperclip for that. It's the old iron, the rusty old iron one. Maybe we will paint it just a little bit dirty after oven hardening. And well, I told you before, we have some further buildings to cover. This is the very cute, and I call it treehouse on purpose. Probably there is a different name for that. But if I would build a treehouse, if I had to live in a treehouse, it should look like that one. And we have the tower as well, which doesn't really look like a tower in the clay version but you get you get it what it should be in my tiny clay world there is another building and even some more swamps in the lower part and then we are adding some more grass and the buildings we have already prepared and this is the tube ah, I was looking for what to create that because it's leading right into the river and we uh, already created the polluted stuff but later we will mix the liquid, when mixing the liquid clay, I will throw in some special shiny colors, which we already used on Ripley. Yeah, it was a bit controversial, but <laughs> I think to sum it up, you really loved that video. It was a bit different than all the other ones. And probably I'm not using, using this material again. <clears throat> so these are all the trees we are placing right now and the fun start parts The fun part starts This is the liquid clay. I messed it up But to make sure that I am not messing up with the liquid clay We have to create some barriers and this is what you see right now. It doesn't look quite nice Well, it's ugly. Let's face it, but we will remove it after oven hardening. So let's Try to get in some more liquid clay Oh yes, look at that. We are shaping the swamps right now. And maybe we can use a brush to get the liquid clay in each and every corner. Oh, it already looks so nice. Maybe we can even add some acrylic paint. This is oil of green because we have some plants inside the water. And now we will mix the liquid clay, the colored version of it. So we are adding the liquid clay first. Then I have this powder. The blue one and the green one. You know these from the Ripley tutorial, of course. So let's try to mix it. In the Ripley tutorial, I think I use it a little bit too much of these powders. So this time I try to be really careful with that, to not use too much. 
Ah, it looks great because it's still transparent. And now we can edit right at the spots where it should come out. Look at that. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> and we are ready to go into the oven. Meanwhile, the whole creation is still in the oven and cooling down. We take this special paper, this wrapping paper, to create all the treats. Because this time I created the tree trunks too thin and using clay would have been just too heavy for these tiny tiny thin trunks. We go with paper and we are creating many many leaves, many many trees, tree leaves and we have a bunch of them and after oven hardening, after cooling down, we will glue all these different parts of the tree into our creation. So I'm really curious what it will look like. I haven't done that before. So let's find out together what it will look like if it works. This is our set. Maybe we can remove some parts of the clay as well. And even the barriers which we used to stop the liquid clay from floating out of our creation. And maybe we should even add some more liquid clay, because now the connection parts look a little bit ugly because of the barriers we created. Maybe we can just... And I am letting this dripping down. And hopefully after oven hardening it will look amazing. And we will put this creation into the oven again. Freshly baked! Slurpy Swamp! Look at that! It looks so nice, the oven hardened at liquid clay. We're adding some transparent polish to make the swamp really shiny. Oh yes! And the moment has come, the moment has arrived to see if it really works with the trees. Yes! It looks nice! It looks cute! Look at that! All without clay. Yo! Now we can add all the trees and finish these. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work and I'm pretty sure I missed some of the trees which I should have created, <laughs> but I didn't. Look at that. Oh, the chimneys are missing. Right. I almost forgot about this piece. I tried to make it a little bit dirty. And we are gluing it onto the buildings, one on the left, two on the right side, look at that. Maybe we can even add some more slurp, slurpy juice. This is the thumbnail I used for the video. <laughs> so I had to shoot this experiment anyway. <laughs> Guys, look at that, look at that! That's it! Slurpy swans! Oh, the factory looks amazing, look at all the details, the trees. I hope you enjoyed today's video with Slurpy Swamp and now let me know which map piece I should create next. Should it be from Fortnite or any other game? Please let me know, write it down in the comments. I guess that's it for today. Have a great weekend and take care guys. Bye! No, no, no. <laughs>